Imagine a world where water is barely there at all dwarfed by oceans of frozen co. That single discovery flipped decades of models on their head. Suddenly, comets from other star systems weren't behaving like ours at all. Webb wasn't just showing us data it was throwing down a cosmic gauntlet. Our rules might not apply out there. Then came Hubble's turn. On July 21st, its camera zeroed in on Atlas's nucleus and coma. The size estimates? Wildly inconsistent anywhere from a mere 300 meters to over 5 kilometers across. The shape? Irregular. The activity? Unprecedented. No clean water jets. No typical exhaust. Instead, a baffling symmetric outflow. The comet wasn't venting like anything we'd ever tracked. It was rewriting the playbook. In Chile, the very large telescope pushed things even further. August 21st. Its instruments caught the unmistakable fingerprints of cyanide and, shockingly, nickel. Nickel in a comet's makeup is virtually unheard of, hinting at an origin rich in heavy elements, perhaps even materials forged in dying stars. This wasn't just an interloper. It was a time capsule, billions of years old, carrying fragments of an alien stellar nursery. But the plot thickened with Spherex. Between August 8th and 12th, Deep observations revealed the unthinkable, 